Hi everyone, now let's look at the last questions of the question 4. Okay, question 4b. Okay, let sigma be the portions of paraboloid. So this is a paraboloid. Okay, so this paraboloid um, happen at the position z greater than 0 and oriented outward. Okay, suppose that the curve C is the boundary of the sigma in the xy plane and the force given is this one. So you have to verify the Stokes theorems. Huh? Okay, verify. Okay, meaning that you have to do the right hand side and also the left hand side. Okay, you have to verify. Huh? Okay, so um, let's look at the solutions. Okay, uh, this is B. Okay, verified. Okay, verified means what? Uh, verified means that you have to prove this one. Okay, it's the same as this. Okay, this is the Stokes theorem. Okay, so let's look at the solution for the left hand side first. Okay, so first of all, uh, I will draw this thing, okay, to give you some idea. Okay, it is a paraboloid. So we draw the paraboloid. So paraboloid, uh, then we have the equations. Okay, then we will draw this. In here okay all right so the equation of the paraboloid is equals to uh, 4 minus x squared minus y squared okay so where the x y are 0 you got your z here equals to 4 okay so when your z equals to uh, 0 okay your radius here will be equals to 2 eh? Okay, so now we need to solve for this. Okay, the, the left hand side. Okay, so we need to define the dr. Huh? We need to define the dr because f we already know. So our f is equals to uh, z, uh, 6x, and y. Okay, so our dr, uh, I will use this thing. Okay, easier. So it will be dx okay dy and also dz okay dz okay right okay so this uh curve c yeah the curve c if you if you read the question it mentioned about the curve c right so this one is actually the line integral you have a curve and that curve c is the boundary at the x y plane uh, which is this one okay which is this thing so it is located at the position uh, z equals to zero eh? z equals to zero this is something that you have to take notes okay z equals to zero all right so f let's perform a dot product z 6x y okay dot product the dr uh, dx dy and dz okay and this one yeah right okay so it will become uh, z dx plus 6x dy and plus y dz uh, y dz uh. okay so z is equal to zero okay so z is equal to zero at the same time the dz also will be equal to zero okay so you left this integrate 6x dy okay so this one you have to choose the uh, parametric equations or we need something to actually relate the x and y so that we can convert it to the to the single variable integrations huh? Okay, so we have a relationship, okay, of the x, y by using these equations. Okay, so this equation is given from here, right, here. 
okay the equation of the circles over here okay so this circle okay when you replace the z with zero so you will get these equations okay so we can use the equations uh, like the you can replace it with the x or if you want to replace it with the y also okay okay but in this case i would like to replace it with the um parametric equation theta so here the x okay i will use because it is circular shape uh, okay so i will use these assumptions uh two cos theta okay so the y can be two sine theta so when you replace these two equations into here you still get four uh, okay you will still get four so the dy d theta okay will become a uh, two cos theta okay two cos theta so this thing uh six x x is a uh, two cos theta okay so dy is a uh, two cos theta also d theta okay so you get 24 cos square theta okay 24 cos square theta d theta okay so the look at the c okay the c okay this is the c okay so this c actually form a circle so this circle has the d theta from 0 to 2 pi okay so you can just put like this and you can use calculator to get the answer cos x square so you get 24 pi okay for the uh, left hand side okay we move on to the right hand side of the stocks theorem okay which is this part uh, this is the right hand side of the stocks theorem the first thing that you need to find is the curl of the vector f second will be the unit factor n okay so we go to the uh, right hand side eh? right hand side okay so for the right hand side you need to find the curl of the vector f okay so we perform these operations okay so we have uh, their x their y their z uh, z 6x and y okay so let's do it so it will be 1 minus 0 minus 0 minus 1 okay the j and plus the k the k component will be 6 minus 0 okay which means that it is a 1 1 and 6 okay 1 1 and 6 eh? okay we look at the this thing okay this is the unique normal vectors okay so we are going to use these equations okay because of it is the uh, what because it's oriented outward okay oriented outward so you're going to use this one right First of all, what is our f? Okay, our f will be the equations of the paraboloid. Okay, that is z equals to 4 minus x squared minus y squared. So your fx is equal to negative 2x. Fy is negative 2y. Okay, so you could replace it. So this thing. Okay, I, I think I'll straight away replace it. So we have double integral. So I have the one one six one one six 
okay dot product with the negative negative positive uh, positive 2x 2y and 1 and da okay so simplify it first so we have a 2x 2y plus 6 okay so this da depend on the shape of the c or the shape of the curve okay so just now we have looked at the shape of the curve okay which is a circle right okay so this circle has the radius of 2 okay so we can put it here okay we are going to use the polar coordinate because it is a circle zero to two and zero to two pi so x and y you have to convert it uh, you have to convert it you become two x is r cos theta uh, y is r sin theta okay the r i I take it here and plus the 6R okay right okay so let's do it So this one you get uh, 16 over 3 cos theta plus same thing, eh? 16 over 3 sin theta plus so here you got the 12 So integrate oh so this part you get zero eh? so this part you get zero so you have a 24 part So it is the same as the answer the left hand side okay so you can write down is uh, verify uh, okay verify huh? right so this is the questions for b thank you class